Today, I'm going to be diving into a burning question of mine. How many AI servers can I fit into my home lab? The answer? Let me explain how I calculated this. For context, my side hustle headbot makes heavy use of AI servers. Each of these specialized servers have an NVIDIA RTX 3090. I know what you're thinking. What is this fool doing with all these GPU servers? I've been working on a side hustle called Headbot. Headbot uses AI to give my customers sculpted physiques unattainable through Jim alone. The results? A chiseled form that would make Zeus jealous. To meet growing customer demand, I've already scaled up to two nodes. Assuming Headbot's continual success, this is why I set out to answer this question. Outside the challenge of procuring the hardware, the main limitation is not just buying the GPU nodes and sticking them in my house. The real limitation is electricity. These servers with their 3090 GPUs are a real energy hog. To ensure continual operation, I need to ensure I don't trip the circuit breaker or exceed my home's power capacity. I did also consider other possible challenges like networking bandwidth and heat management, as well as software licensing. However, Headbot specifically does not require much networking to complete the jobs. In Washington state, heat also isn't really an issue and all the software that Headbot uses is free and open source. So licensing is also not an issue. Since we're gonna look at power, let's break down the components that build each of these machines and I'll add up how much power they consume. Each machine has a single RTX 3090 GPU. Each of these gulp down about 350 watts of power when running at max load. When I add in the motherboard, CPU, RAM and other hard drives, we're looking at a total draw of 400 watts in total for each server. So assuming each machine draws 400 watts at max load, we can crunch the numbers. In the US, a typical household circuit breaker can handle around 2.2 kilowatts. That's five AI servers. And on top of this, a typical circuit breaker panel has about 30 circuits. Working backwards, this gives me 150 servers. Unfortunately, that's not the full story. While I was doing some more research, I came across another limitation. The limitation is your electrical service. Most houses in the US will only have the infrastructure to handle a 200 amp power supply from the grid. 200 amps gives me 22 kilowatts of juice, which means I can only power 55 machines. But imagine if Headbot is so successful that I need to spin up more machines at home. I did some digging and it would cost me roughly three to 5,000 USD to upgrade my infrastructure to get a 400 amp service. This would effectively give me 110 servers. If you want to support the channel and help me get to 110 AI servers, consider getting a head job at Headbot. For a limited time, we're giving away a few free head jobs so you can gift them to your friends. So there you have it. The real bottleneck is my home's power capacity. From a dreamy 150 to a more realistic 55 servers. 